It's definitely going to be a very, very grindy time. Ugh. All right. Guardian, we received limited intel regarding a Vex information depot. I want you to get in there and figure out what they know. Greetings, Captain. Commander Zabala has requested that I run tactical on this mission. Please allow me to help way. you with your invasion of the Insight Terminus. Or did I? Oh, hello, Failsafe. What can you tell us about this Terminus? I have not detected significant Vex activity in that area since shortly after the Exodus Black arrived. Well, that's good news. Maybe we won't run into much resistance. Yeah, but since death kind of follows you around, I wouldn't count on that. Positive as ever, I see. What is this one? I feel like I don't remember this strike. But I'll probably remember as we get into here. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, I want to compare the damage difference between my energy crossbow, or my energy bow, and my kinetic bow. But it's hard too because this fucking guy is just blasting past everything. By blasting, I mean literally just running by everything. Which I'm fine with, I want to beat the thing as fast as possible too, but I also want to test out stuff. Okay. Okay, 3,133. That was wrong. Alright, Kinetic still does a lot more base damage, as should be expected. My eyes! Going back into this. Uh, might be going the wrong way. Oh no. Have I been going backwards? I am a, a very confused. Alright, they want me to use shotguns, eh? I got a shotgun for you. I'm making the elimination of Kargan your priority on this operation. His crew has been active all over the system. From our intel, he's mostly targeting Vex installations. However, removing him can only strengthen our position. Put him down. I have good news and bad news. Give us the good news first. According to the Vex, Cargan has almost complete control over the local Vex gate network. I predict several detachments of Cabal over the next few minutes. No, I said give us the good news first. I did. A wanted enemy's begun to escape, but I don't know where the hell the wanted enemy is. How far ahead is this guy? Is he even ahead or is he just in a random spot on Nessus? I don't even know. Because we're running into spots where enemies are spawning and like locking off. So I sure herp. I sure hope he's heard. Burp. There's got to be a way to get through here. Failsafe, any ideas? I believe Centurions will possess the means to remove the Vex block and grant you ingress. Okay, I don't remember this strike. 
Is this a PlayStation strike? I definitely went through all of the vanilla ones. But I don't, I don't know if I missed any strikes from, like, War Mind. Yeah, okay. I definitely never, ever did this strike. Holy shit. This is nice. Alright, so my bow has the ability to draw itself faster, or draw the arrow faster, if I land precision shots. Which means I can just go back to back to back to back to back to just firing over and over and over again. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Someone said it was a P PlayStation exclusive strike. Yeah. I figured. Because <laughs> while I never grinded Destiny to the maximum extent that I could have, I definitely grinded enough that I did every single play uh, piece or strike that was available on PC. And this one doesn't even have like a faint Here's memory Stark. for me. That makes me sad because that means these guys are just kind of like fucking bum rushing my first run through here. Wow. Okay, don't get hit by that. Intercepted communication from the Vex indicates that Cargan has bypassed their initial security protocols. It looks like Cargan is using that complex to access the data artifact. Get me over to that Vex plate, and I'll try a counter hit. I guess I could stand on the plate too, guys. One down, two to go. <laughs> oh no! The worst kind of scion! It can launch three waves of lifting up attacks! He just teleported himself upwards. And he just didn't want to deal with this shit right now. Ugh. I can't hit him in the head from the side like this. Turn your face towards me, damn it. We're not going to let him get away with stealing the data while we're here. You are correct, friendly ghost. A massive buildup of energy indicates several Cabal transports are inbound to your position. You asked for it. Yay. I was like, oh, why is he not using a super on all the enemies? And I realized, oh, it's because he's just trying to burst the damage. That's fine, too. Location Nito. secured, Commander Zavala. Good work, Guardian. What intel did you discover? Hmm. There's only one data artifact here, labeled Oxa, and it's seriously corrupted. 
Metadata says it was last accessed by an Otzot centuries ago. What is Oxa? And who is Otzot? Those are questions for another day, I suppose. But for now, well done. These are very good questions, but I was hoping we were going to get answers. Alright. Let's head back to orbit. I wasn't expecting that. We went into a random va Vanguard strike just for the sake of going into a random Vanguard strike. And, uh... We encountered a new mission. A new strike. I wonder how many other strikes are available now. Okay. So I think that's how I just got... A new purple gear. Right? Here we go. Vigil of Heroes. Also 505. Reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. Faster ready and stow speed for linear fusion rifles. Increases the drop chance of primary ammo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Of these, there's not a terribly large amount that I want to keep, but these are fun. I should be able to do these tomorrow. They expire in 13 hours. Although, we'll see. I'm not too worried about it. Those just give Vanguard Tactician tokens. What else can I do? Are the Earth Missions dailies? That's a flashpoint. You have the heroic, but that doesn't really that doesn't do anything. What about Mercury? Mercury rewards. That's it. Just Mercury rewards. Helpful, I suppose. Well, I guess it's a safe bet to say that if it doesn't have a yellow icon next to it, it's not going to help you level up. So we're not worried about Mercury, we're not worried about Mars, Titan, Io. At least not for now, just because I never did the... the... Uh, adventures... for a lot of these, so there's a good chance that there might be some heroic dailies that do give you daily rewards, and I just don't have them unlocked yet. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll complete more activities on Earth. We can at the very least do our, our powerful gear for the Flashpoint. Come when we continue Destiny 2 PC co-op. Let's play with Goon and Fubar. One more of that. I want to see y'all do the raid and other optional shit the DLCs. I don't know. Uh, Food Bar doesn't really feel, doesn't really enjoy Destiny 2 too much. And Goon has pretty limited time whenever we do play, so, I don't know. Gom, what helmet are you wearing? It is the Tangled Web Hood. Wait, did they just finish? Oh, they just picked it up. Okay. I was of concerned. So this is the Glimmer Extraction one, I think. A skiff with glimmer yep. mining equipment aboard, Guardian. Interested? I'm going up to see if I can gather or get a nice patrol for this. I see a great deal from up here. For instance, supplies that would reinforce the farm. If you would. We'll teach them not to dig around here. 
I have full confidence in you. Actually, what are my what are my dailies for this place? Uh, sniper rifle kills, arc damage. Okay. I need to equip a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. There we go. They still think they can outrun us. Alright, I generated seven orbs. So if my teammates can't super at the next place, something wrong has happened. Now one thing I'm curious about is uh, I still don't know how to get the next subclass. It's kind of really weird to me that it's kind of hidden in terms of how we're supposed to do that. Usually the game lets you have all your subclasses and then goes, All right, there you go, player. That's all you really needed. I got my heart kills. Okay. That clipper has our names all over it. Holy shit, what is going on here? <laughs> hammer guy is going hammer time. Alright, fine. I'll wait. Just kidding! Ultimate power is here! I don't think I got the kill. But that's okay. I definitely did the damage. I'm about to say, like, where the fuck did he go? Did they kill him? No, he's just standing there in front of us. I'll let him do his thing. They're Titan bros. They can handle it. Ah. It's a good life. Hey, Deborah. Glimmer, incoming. Another impeccable smash and grab. Well done. That was easy. Alright. Yeah, we can also abandon the activity because we already did our flashpoint. I still want to know where the fucker here is. He linked something. Uh, let's see. Trust land. Ow. Fucking. I'm busy! Stop shooting me! Okay. What the hell is the name of this guy? So we are looking for the Queen Breaker. And Queen Breaker is... a yellow servitor... that spawns as a high-value target. Ah! So I was right! It does spawn as a high-value target. Alright. 
So that's just a matter of sitting around waiting for a high value target. Looking for something. Hi, Devrom. I just want the flashpoint. What do you got for me? Oh. A 504 kinetic gun. Let's see. What's it have? Causing damage with the weapon increases its stability. Rounds cause extra damage to combatant shields and overpenetrates targets. That's kind of neat. I'll give it a, a try. Just because it's always good to get these Forsaken guns. Jeez, so many materials. I still want to, like, mass delete all these. Okay. See you soon. So, we need to find the servitor. Somewhere. This feels nice. It sounds really nice, too. Hmm. Oh, I have to kill with, with the sniper. Okay, fine. It's more about the quantity than the quality anyways. Unless I already did it? Nope, I still need four more. It's Randall the Vandal! Nah, uh, he's not a resilient Vandal. He also took the high value target spawn here. Alright, I wanna try something. I wanna see if I can fast travel to Trossland? and have a different high value target spawn. I mean, <laughs> that works. It just it wasn't exactly what I needed it for. I was hoping that maybe we'd run into different instances of the high value target but so far nah so I'm fine with that we'll just go somewhere else there's really not a point in me doing the bounties if they don't level me up which is a real shame they really should have leveled us up I feel like it's kind of a, a middle finger to the player to have all these bounties that basically they give you gear they give you legendaries to like try and roll that's it oh uh, at least we have other ways to level up now all right what do we want to do what do we want to do daily heroic story mission Ooh. There's something tragically beautiful about living in view of the shard of the traveler. Everyone at the fire. I should probably do this. Oh, you can actually choose which one you want to do. Oh wow. That's cool. You're here. Very good. 
I might save that for later then. I thought it was gonna be a case of like, okay, you only get one daily heroic, and so I need to be doing these like, one after another, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cover that, but you get five choices. So, that's not that bad. Alright, what's something else that I could do? I'm trying to figure out what I can do before I end the stream because I think I guess we'll be going out I'll be going out for dinner or something. I might just do this patrol. Or this public event that's happening right now. Can't hear that too. around here. I have full confidence in you. That was a sick dodge. Dodge out of the way the enemies they're jumping down on me. Huh. Do they still think they can outrun us? Forsaken out there looks familiar. Well, should have been here when I was doing Forsaken exclusive stuff for like eight to ten hours. Right now I'm trying to level myself up so that way I can do the Dreaming City stuff, because Dreaming City is... ...more around, like, level 520 to 550, and I'm level 501. That has all over it. So that's something I'll have to do, uh... I'll be working towards... It's so weird, on these public event bosses, it's like my super sometimes doesn't want to trigger their death. It'll drain them, like, 99.9% .9 of their health. And then the boss has to consider for a second, like, ah, I guess, do I want to fall over and die? Yeah, alright, fine. Smash and grab. Well done. Hey, I also can do the toast. No, he didn't see it. Farewell, Oscar the Great. I am great too. <laughs> I just got some some normal boots. Oh, uh, I thought you got a prime man ground. All right. And now, I need to do the Ace in the Hole mission. Yeah, is that on, on Tangled Titan. Shore, or...? No, it's on Titan. Oh, alright. Well, thank you, Nikki. I'm sure you are... ...wanting that sleep. Oh, I'm gonna watch you do the mission before I go to sleep. Alright. Well, I'm gonna head off to Titan. Mm-hmm. He said for me to do the I mission solo. 
Well, the mission itself also has to be done, so either way, exactly. found out today. All right. So we have to disband. Where is the I'll mission? There it is. Here. Wait, no, that's enemy of my enemy. Oh, there it is. Alrighty, Nikki, get a mute on up. Okay. It is time for us to begin the Ace in the Hole mission, which we have been building up towards with arcades. Will, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing on this mission. I haven't been reading like the little lore things here. And I didn't read the little blurb. Track down Kate's personal stash so you can repair the Ace's fates. Ah, all right. Now I'm expecting quite a number of things from this mission. Specifically, Cade's secret stash. The note said this was the place he hid it. We find the stash. We find the parts we need to repair the Ace of Spades. I expect to hear sad things from Cade himself. Oh, I can't use my sparrow. All right. We have a Cade stash nearby. I should be mindful of that. So we have to like maybe look around a little bit or they could just be out in the open. That's fine too. Wow. Oh, if no. you're listening to this, congrats on killing me. I assume you became a high death god and fed me to your worm cult. <sighs> that or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. We're getting warmer. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize. And I will consider all my actions 100% Justified. Either way, <laughs> feel free to put your rock on my maps now. I don't need him anymore. Oh, Cade. He recorded things just in case he died. Ugh. This one's for that armless coward, Tanix the Scarred. If you're listening to this, you killed me. But I bet I took a big chunk of your ugly husk with me. Guess Andal Brask wasn't enough for you, huh? You wanted another Hunter Vanguard for your sick collection? I got my share of regrets, sure. But not putting a bullet in you has got to rank in the top three. Won't be long before a better guardian than me puts you in your place. Just wish I could be there to see it. Don't worry, Kate. I'll kill them all to avenge you. Even if, you know, he didn't actually get killed by these people. Especially not Eris. I always sit to wonder, where the hell is Eris? She just got directly referenced, and yet, we've seen nothing, heard nothing from her. Oh my. Uh-oh. Didn't expect to walk in and get detained. Oh, it's the ogre. That's what's making all that noise. Well, it's a good thing I've got a sleeper sim. Okay, it got blocked. See, if I had that awesome warlock armor that caused elemental primary explosions, I'd never have to worry about anything. Oh, damn. Yep, I'm just gonna do this. Oh my Jesus, my eyes! Have our grenades always done that? Void ability kills cause enemies to explode. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. All right, I just never really used this because I always used devour. Oh my. I was about to say, I wonder if Kate's stash is up there. And well. There's very clearly a Shrieker up there. My eyes have been drawn. I'll head on up. I am still sad that Kate got killed. But of all the things to happen. This one's for the fellow who calls himself the Drifter. You did warn me running with you would put a 
target on my back. Guess I'm in good company, though, huh? After all, never had any fun without a little risk. That's the whole idea with the operation you're putting together, ain't it? My idea, by the way, had it like a million years ago, back when you were still handsome. Mm. So, uh, you're welcome. You know, getting that up front is coming to hide. Even you know who I'm shot at. But I was around to see that showdown. Personally, my money was on the guy with the golden gun. But hey, what do I know? I'm dead. It's interesting to see that, uh... Cade even thought out to do these things. He was always, always one of those guys who was kind of, I guess, very, very thoughtful in the end, even if he was always joking around. I wish we could have seen more of that side of him. I was hoping to get a headshot there. Oh, shit. I didn't expect to walk around the corner and have this here. Yee. Okay. Aha! <laughs> I know there's a stash nearby, but I didn't know if it was going to be further ahead. Like, way over there, or kind of above us. Alright, now I just have to figure out how to reach you. While warlocks sometimes have bad jumps, they have safe jumps. Petra, if you're listening to this, you kill me. <laughs> Maybe the Sobs, in all their mysterious wisdom, decided they were sick of me? If the Queen ordered the hit, I guess I understand. You're a real glutton for chivalry. But if it was Aldrin, I'm pissed. <laughs> Just thinking about that peacock gives me a headache. But I'm betting my death was not a case of your famous collateral damage. Because you're a real do-good. Seriously, it's annoying. But good deeds never go unpunished when you're old. You just... You got a blast, Raiders. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Orin, if the sun over Nessus escapes the nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. You got that, PV? Oh, God. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, we have another ogre. Just gonna go ahead and take care of that real fast. Okay. I like how that one was in the middle. Very hardly a mention of Aldrin. Because I doubt Kate ever thought he was gonna get killed by that guy. And yet here we are. Oof. Very big oof. All right, there's a possibility I missed some, so I'll head back and grab them. Is there an enemy over here? Oh, wait. There were enemies up here. They're, <laughs> they're praying to Cade. Just because you made me, you can unmake me. Hey, I understand. I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Long, slow whisper. Because if I did, that would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't heard the last of me. Long, slow whisper, huh? I want to know more. Tell me more about how Exos were made. Here's one for Soraya Hawthorne. Hawthorne! You know, when I told my ghost I'd be making one of these for you, 
She left. I didn't have to tell you that. Just wanted to make you feel bad. In my defense, if you're listening to this, you did kill me. I mean, if it was a fair fight, mano a mano, I'd win. No question. But I can see you planning out some convoluted, ridiculous trap. Some would call that paranoia. Me? I call it being a hunter. So, here's your next hunter lesson. Looking after your own. Speaking of which, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of the Colonel. Now, she only eats sesame seed muesli and drinks purified spring water with a sprig of parsley. What? Play nice, you two. <laughs> uh, well, I wonder... I hope this chicken's being taken care of. I haven't, like, seen anything about the chicken. The chicken's very, very important. We gotta make sure that it survives for Kate. This one's for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig. Yeah. Congratulations, dummy. <laughs> That's what we call a Vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay, brace yourself for some advice, hotshot. One, know your people. Like my Nessa scout, Qantas Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stalker, you know? Two, keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's vanguard dare. Because trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. Kate was too smart for his own good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm imagining how awkward you must look right now. <laughs> okay. Zavala. <laughs> so, I'm dead. You killed me. My stuff is yours. No more working me over at chess. No more getting worked over at poker. For real, though. You know that if you needed to kill me for the good of the city or whatever, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Nada. You can put this voice recording away and go on with your life. Now, if you did have some kind of lingering guilt or something, that would be rough. Because you and I both know you'd have me yapping in your ear for the rest of your days. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. I didn't even consider, I was like, okay, he gave one to hunters, what about warlocks or titans? And well, I guess Zavala is a titan. Does the next one mean Ikora? What about us? Oh god. Is his last dash going to be about us? Because I didn't get him killed. Technically, he got himself killed. With like, three different stupid actions. He was just... Too old. Okay. I think I missed a couple back here. Hi, Ikora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? I probably told you. I always gotta have the last word, and I'm gonna be prepared for every possibility. But to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest, I could never tell if you really like me that much. Okay. Oh, uh, well, if you did hate me, the feeling was not mutual. In fact, yeah, I'll say it. Don't even mind that you killed me. I figure if we threw down, first off, no one can blame me for losing. And... I know you'd be in the right. So, thanks, I guess. You were a, a good friend. Better than a guy like me could hope for anyway. So, yeah. Thanks, Ikora. For everything. Oh, if Ikora could hear that, she'd be bawling. God. I'm, I'm bawling on the inside. For the strong silent type. You. Hey. Congratulations, buddy. I mean that. Always knew you'd outdo me someday. And if that means you had to do me in, too, well, you saved my life on Nessus, so 
I owed it to you anyway. <laughs> Take care of the Ace of Spades, will you? I'm not just talking about the maintenance. Banshee can help you with all that. I mean, take care of Ace. Use it well. Oh, hey, and if you found any of those papers from my earlier, uh, deployments, burn them. Don't want people poking through the lives of Kate Zero through Five. So just put it all behind you, okay? Every story has an end. This is mine. Kate! Kate, you're taking to us take it from us too soon. What the fuck? I'm sad. And you never had one that was just like, oh, I was taken out by somebody and somebody else is coming here picking it up. He's all of them was like, eh, if I get killed by the person, they can have my stuff. But what if we kill the person that killed them? Eh, well, well, now we're here. Alright. Let's turn this in and get our Ace of Spades. While I'm probably not going to use it... ...terribly much over some of the other exotic weapons, just being real. I definitely will keep it for as long as possible, and it'll never be dismantled. I'm gonna lock that down. The Ace of Spades is staying with us. And, in terms of what we currently have, I'm probably gonna be using the Ace of Spades immediately. I am just a sucker for a good hand cannon. So we're never gonna get our cage severed. Again, to be fair, Kade did a bunch of dumb things. I wish we could have been there. I would have really, I would have been there. We wouldn't have pulled out our ghost and had it blown up. We would have maybe still gotten our asses kicked by the Baron. That would have been, that would have been preferable to me to have really actually been there and just been powerless. But no, we were just in a different place. Ugh. Only we could do time travel, but we don't have that. Ace of spades is good as new now. Take it when you wield it. Remember. Remember. Now wait a minute. Hey, have you seen Kate around lately? Oh no, Banshee. Banshee. It's okay, he'll, he'll figure it out. Banshee's old hands rove over the ace of spades, sliding new pieces into place, closing a polished, unscored chassis over its perfectly tuned me mechanisms. It's done. The ace of spades is yours. I'll be pulling for you, if I remember. Okay. I don't have the most amazing side things to equip for my heavy slot, but we've got our Ace of Spades. And I'm pretty happy to have it. We also have the ornament, which does make it look kind of cool. I just apply that. All right, Ace of Spades. Folding was never an option. The last will and testament of Cade Six. To whom it may concern, I, Cade Six, being of soundish mind and body, do hereby and henceforth and heretofore leave all my possessions to the person, alien, animal, or natural phenomenon what kills me. Aforesaid possessions include, but are not limited to, the Ace of Spades, any and all stashes I've hidden throughout the system, the Colonel, my faithful friend, my debts which follow. The attached file is too big to download. <laughs> well, how about I just deny the debts? Because technically I'm not the one that killed him, I'm the one. Who killed the person who killed him, which means I probably still inherit it, but no, 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 no. We can't pay, <laughs> we can't pay off Kate's debts, jeez. Alright, I'm happy to have our Ace of Spades. And it's our, well, it's our second Forsaken exotic. Because the other exotics I got are all from the other seasons. But that's, that's fine. Is our hard light getting mod? No. Nope. It's just 515. 
there to be nice in my inventory, and that's it. Okay. Well, that means I only have to go back into the grind. And I figure, of all the things that we have left, that means I need to head to the Dreaming City.